Welcome back to Top 5 Repairs. How do you know you have a bad input shaft speed sensor? The input shaft speed sensor is usually mounted in the torque converter area or bell housing area and usually is mounted on the outside or it can be mounted on the inside. And the purpose of the input shaft speed sensor is to measure the input shaft rotational speed in an automatic transmission. If you have a two-wire input shaft speed sensor, most likely it is magnetic. And if you have a three-wire input shaft speed sensor, most likely it will be electromagnetic. If you're getting P0715, P0716, P0717, P0718 input shaft speed sensor codes, I'm going to explain the most common reason why you're getting those codes. The number one reason why these input shaft speed sensor stop working properly is going to be a buildup of metal shaving on it. If you don't change your transmission fluid enough, for example, you haven't changed it for about 100,000 miles and more, metal shaving will start to build up on it and whatever contamination that's floating inside the uh, transmission fluid will start to accumulate on the uh, input shaft speed sensor. And this can definitely affect how the input shaft speed sensor is going to function. So one way to make it work properly is to remove the input shaft speed sensor and just clean off the uh, metal shaving and it might actually work again. The next reason why the input shaft speed sensor may stop working properly is going to be poor connection. Due to its location on the outside, the input shaft speed sensor uh, connection can start to corrode. When water starts to get on the input shaft speed sensor, again, it's going to cause corrosion or poor connection. And if you have an oil leak or you have a buildup of dirt and grime that's going to get on the connection of the input shaft speed sensor, again, it can affect its operation and trigger those codes. Another reason why the input shaft speed sensor may stop working properly is going to be damage. Since the input shaft speed sensor is mounted on the outside, the wires is exposed to the element and road objects can hit it and impact the wires. It can cause an open. The wires can start to short out. The connection itself can start to short out. And a lot of things can go wrong when it is mounted on the outside. Besides having a bad input shaft speed sensor, there's a lot of things that can affect the input shaft speed sensor. For example, you could have a bad reluctant ring, it can be broken, you could have a bad shaft, you can, uh, the uh, torque converter can be loose, and you could also have a bad TCM or a bad PCM. How do you know you have a bad input shaft speed sensor besides getting those codes? And the uh, first and most common symptom is going to be limp mode. Basically, your vehicle will be stuck in second gear and you can't go faster than 35 miles per hour. The next symptom is going to be hard shift and erratic shifting. You may also notice a decrease in fuel economy. You may notice the speedometer may start to fluctuate. And if the input shaft speed sensor fell completely, your vehicle may start to stall, especially at low speed. If you replace the input shaft speed sensor and you check the wires and the connection and they're good and internally everything is good and you're still having issue, it is possible that you might have a bad TCM or a bad PCM. So those are the common reason why you're getting those input shaft speed sensor codes. I hope you found this video useful. I thought thank you for watching. Subscribe to Tough of repairs.